main technical challenges involving sinus lifting is that the whole thing is a technique sensitive procedure. You can definitely not learn it in a weekend course and do it three times a year, otherwise you will run into deep trouble. The issues are thorough understanding of anatomy, thorough understanding of preventing complications like the ruptures of the membrane, like dislocation of graft material and consecutive infections. So whenever you can make sure that you circumvent sinus lifting and avoid it, I think and I'm absolutely convinced that you give your patient perfect service. I started offering an alternative to sinus lifting over 20 years ago when the first root-shaped compression screw type implants came to the market and were available. I was overwhelmed by the possibilities it gave into my hand. I could suddenly get much more predictable primary stability, much faster solutions due to the chance to load immediately and we could spare the patient a big number of sinus lifts. Let me point out not all the sinus lifts can be avoided, but I'm personally convinced that 70 to 80, maybe more percent of sinus lifts performed today can be avoided. The alternative to sinus lifting benefits the patient in multiple ways. First of all, much less trauma, endless fear of the therapy, much less pain, shorter time of recovery, shorter healing, shorter time to teeth, significantly reduced costs, and overall a much nicer, faster and more pleasant patient journey. The main factors, first of all, is anatomy. You need a tuberosity, you need to understand the tuberosity in terms of postmenopausal bone, hard bone, soft bone, in order to understand which primary stability you can achieve. Then you need a right implant. The right implant is an implant which is right in terms of the most modern product, in terms of geometry, implant length, the anatomical shape of the implant. In terms of the compression screw, what kind of drill protocol do you need? And then you combine the narrow long implants, the short implants, and if available, the tilted implants in a splinted way, and voila, you're ready to go.